All right, listen up, everyone. We got a problem. So Alistair is getting close and meet riding Charlie D'Amelio, which is not good for anybody because he has a whole, what, uh, 12 inches on the line here. And we're supposed to believe you care about this for a very straight reason because- I don't know what's more heterosexual than wanting 12 inches to yourself. I mean, why would I want it all to myself? I mean, it's not like he's limiting himself to anything. See, and that's where you basically just admitted that you do want it. I've had enough of this. What are we gonna do about Alistair Meat Ride and Charlie D'Amelio? I don't know, this is like the most you've ever said both of their names in one day. Normally I hear him using their names as swears in a COD lobby or something. <laughs> I think I have just the fact. Em, hello, it is I, Busta. You remember? Ow, crap, what the? Grr. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah. Alistair, what kind of furry shit? Maggie, what did I tell you about? Oh my gosh, hello. Yes, it is I, Busta. Do you remember? Uh, Busta, the one guy who uh, had the whoopee with Alistair. I hardly understood any of the words that you just said, but thank you. I'm sure Alistair would love to have a friend over again. Um, excuse me? I'm the only ethnic boy allowed inside of this hype house. Besides that, he's allowed in because he's a hanky-panky buddy of Alistair's. They seem to be on pretty bad terms the last time they talked, though, and the extra drama could be something we need in the husband hype house. Besides, what else? Who else better than the special acoustic man? You're going to allow this pandering, Vaggie? <sighs> <sighs> well, I do have a soft spot for Charlie D'Amelio and... Yeah. Acoustic fellas, I guess. Oh. Ah, thank you so much, Maggie. Okay, you're gonna love it here. We almost got a washer and everything. Trust me, a washer won't be necessary with how dirty you get the night. And in just one night, we've lost all of our sponsorships. Oh, here's another ethnic resident, we think. <laughs> We're like 80% sure she's either demonically possessed or acoustic. Oh, hey, Alistair. Hey, look, um, you can go ahead and talk out your problems and feelings and solve things and your drama right here on camera. Why, if it isn't the genetically challenged pal of mine? I definitely remember your nuts now. Mm. Oh, right. You guys could totally apologize to each other on here, too. <clears throat> so, just go ahead and say sorry for being genetically challenged. Go on. Go ahead. Um, uh, I am sorry for only having two dicks and using them to bust on you. I, Busta, apologize. Um, here's Mpreg fan art. Ah, and it looks like I'm not the one who's pregnant this time. Amazing. This must have meant a lot to you.